Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Wednesday, October 25th, 2023, Wednesday of the 29th week in Ordinary Time. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, Grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Luke chapter 12, verses 39 through 48. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Then Peter said, Lord, is this parable meant for us or for everyone? And the Lord replied, Who then is the faithful and prudent steward whom the master will put in charge of his servants to distribute the food allowance at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master on arrival finds doing so. Truly, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that servant says to himself, My master is delayed in coming, and begins to beat the men servants and the maid servants, to eat and drink and get drunk, Then that servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour and will punish the servant severely and assign him a place with the unfaithful. That servant who knew his master's will but did not make preparations nor act in accord with his will shall be beaten severely. And the servant who was ignorant of his master's will but acted in a way deserving of a severe beating shall be beaten only lightly. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much, and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection Over the past two days, the Gospels have prompted us to delve deeper into our understanding of vigilance, stewardship, and accountability in our spiritual journey. Today, the concept of the Master's unpredictable return is not meant to instill fear, but to inspire a life of unwavering faith, continual growth, and consistent service to God and humanity. Pope Francis once said, Each of us has a vision of good and of evil. We have to encourage people to move towards what they think is good. Everyone has his own idea of good and evil and must choose to follow the good and fight evil as he conceives them. That would be enough to make this world a better place. Our Pope's words resonate with the essence of the Gospel message in that our responsibility extends beyond the mere anticipation of the Master's return. It encompasses making moral, ethical, and spiritual choices that align with God's will every single day. Each choice that leans toward the good, every act of kindness, and each moment of selflessness lights up the world in ways that are unimaginable and prepares us for the Master's return. Part of today's challenge is about being good stewards of the gifts that God has given to us. We all have gifts and resources that have been given to us by our God. We know that He has entrusted us with those gifts for a short time in this life. As we move towards this season of giving this fall, let's be particularly mindful of how we might share our gifts to help others prepare the way for the Lord. And so today, let's pray that as we are mindful of our own journey to our Lord, that God will show us opportunities to share our gifts with others and bring them to Christ. We 
We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.